Buenos dias. Buenos dias. We're gonna head to the jungle. We'll be running around and seeing all kinds of crazy bugs and whatnot. No spiders though. Of course, no spiders in the jungle. Everybody knows that. Of course not. <laughs> drinking some water and laying down for a minute because he is really not doing well. I think combination of the drive being super stressful and it is like really really humid here. But I think this might be my favorite thing we're gonna do. Like this takes me back to when I was living in Central America, Costa Rica, Ometepe, volcanic island in the middle of Lake Nicaragua so this is super rad. I love it. So the guy, Brian, built all of this himself. We've got like, this is a community house, fire pit, the community house. Take a stroll over the bridge. We've got community kitchen. Basic plumbing there for washing dishes, drinking water, pizza oven, hot plate. It's like basic necessities. This is sick. I'm all about this. Also kicked it into sport mode with me chacos. But the landscaping here is also incredible. Fire pit for our hut. There goes the yab yab. Not feeling good. Poor man. <clears throat> but underneath our hut, we've got like a little common area, as you could say. Hammock down here. Two super cool chairs that the dude Brian built all himself. Wicked staircase. This is fucking rad. I'm so excited. We are going to go to bed. Chase is still not feeling 100%, so just ate like a peach, trying to make him feel better, and I ate a burrito and two pieces of pizza because I'm starving, but I'm okay, Abby. I don't feel good. Good morning. Buenos dias, Baratas. We are in yeah. the most beautiful place ever. This is like right up my alley. It's super humid, jungly, tree houses built out of bamboo, and grass, palm leaf, thatch roofs. It's incredible. Yeah, very pretty. How are you feeling? Feeling better. Feeling better. Uh, don't need to get some food in me, but hopefully that'll do the trick. Um, but yeah, of course, like while we're, we have five days in a apartment with AC and all that stuff, I feel fine. And then I decide to have like one night where I feel like trash when it's like the jungle. But I think uh, I drank a lot of water and I ate no food because I couldn't. I had a piece of fruit that helped. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think uh, I think we should be good from here on. I'm excited. It's so pretty here. We're gonna get some so fruit, pretty. some basic breakfast, and hopefully he'll feel better. And I can't wait to explore some yeah. more. Maybe. Basic bitch breakfast. Basic bitch breakfast. We're walking into the square now in the middle of Mazahule, I believe is how you say it. I've heard a different thing every time, so uh, we're gonna go try to find some fruit. It's breakfast. It was delicious. We're walking around the little square right next to this is called Puerto Mazahule. Mazahule, goddamn. 
Puerto go. Masa Puerto. I'm uh, with the Puerto M. Apparently there's monkeys that run around in the square and everything, but this is the actual port. Puerto means port in Spanish, so this is where they drop all the boats and go for little tours of the Amazon, and it's pretty cool. I got a tropical salad, and it's got a whole bunch of veggies and deliciousness on it. And a beer, because breakfast beer. Mm -hmm. You happy to be eating? Mm hmm. Sure. I hadn't eaten in like a very long time. 24 hours. All right. Some delicious breakfast lunchish. And I stopped in and got some fruit. I've never had a good idea, but we're going to have it because I got one. <laughs> and I found a fruit of haya and a mango. So we're going to go back to Mahia Verde and probably just chill out today. See what we can get into. I know that there was a San Pedro ceremony happening uh back at the place we're staying so you know, everybody could be kind of messed up on hallucinogens when we get back we'll see hope they had a good time and some kind of wonderful revelation how are you feeling chase i'm doing better than i was so we're gonna see how it goes see if he keeps it down What time is it? It's snacky time. Snack time! It's super sweet outdoor kitchen. Yeah, that's right. That's a pizza oven. I don't know how to cook pizza really, so I'm not gonna do that. But I got a burrito in here. One of our nice, super environmentally friendly. That's not true. Styrofoam. Um, they didn't have anything else. Otherwise, I should make a point of asking stuff is especially when you're in like the most pristine place ever you're eating out of styrofoam it's not a good feeling but it is food and it is delicious and we are going to eat it so we'll go have some, go have some snacks yeah and grab chocolate bars yeah should i grab another plate or can we share out of this container we can share are you fucking sure yeah so i want to be in it too but everyone check out how cute and curly his hair is. I love jungle shades. Yeah, my hair is very fluffy here. He's not big on the sticky or the humidity. I, on the other hand, can just bathe in it. I love it. Yeah. I mean, it's it's beautiful here. It really is. But I, I, I'm i not a fan of feeling tacky all the time. Like, I feel tacky. I think part of that is the sunscreen, but I can't really not wear the sunscreen. You're so. tacky and I hate you. Name that movie. <laughs> You don't know it either, do you? girls? No. Wow. Okay. Mm. That's my go-to when she makes a movie reference that I don't know. I say Mean Girls. And when I do make a Mean Girls reference, I miss Michael Gubbins. is very warm. We had a lovely morning in town, had some breakfast. Um, we did go down to the beach and saw some monos. Um, they literally jacked this dude's chips, so that was kind of cool because it caused them to chill out and like have some food. Um, and then we decided to come back. The, the puppies out here follow you around, but they followed us to town and I guess they decided they were going to stay because they found some little bones and stuff out there. So. They are going to stay in town. Hopefully they'll show back up. The littlest puppy stays here. Um, he's not allowed to go yet, so he's too little to make the trip. But yeah, we are just uh, back hanging out in our little uh, grass shack. And we'll be here for the rest of the night. And then tomorrow morning we get up and we head to Baños. Buenos tardes. Buenos tardes. Buenos tardes. <laughs> buenos tardes. No, buenos tardes. We are going to have some dragon fruit or what they call here, 
Pitaya. 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 Oh, oh <laughs> okay. okay, babe, the fear. Okay, it's a little. Yeah, juicy. this is where I told you to grab a plate. Now Oof. bugs are gonna come. Swarm us. Mm -hmm. Smells good. Well, they might. I told you to grab a freaking plate. No plates necessary. We're just gonna eat it with a spoon. Oh shit, now my spoon's dirty. What are you doing? Nothing. Don't worry about it. Well, jungle dirt never hurt anybody. Give it a quick wipe. Call that good. It looks uh hide hide from the <laughs> Yummy. Mmm. So split it apart. Mmm, smells good. Just spitting fruit on my face. Oh, it's still on your face. <laughs> well, get it off of there. What a bitch. <laughs> Those are excellent. Anyway. Excellent it's little delicious, torpedoes. delicious, and it's very good for your digestion, supposedly. And they make wonderful torpedoes. Boba, also. I'm not going to find any boba here, but boba, back home in Colorado, there's a couple of really good places. Lolly Cup. Boba make wonderful mouth torpedoes. Turn out. This is the equivalent of a mouth torpedo here. They're so good, and you can just eat them like they're their own little bowl. I've actually never had the golden version of dragon fruit, and that's like pretty much all they have here. Had the red ones. Mm. Well, the red ones will stain the bejesus out of your hands. It makes a really good dye. Oh, but, no. Oh, dude, you're messing up. I waste a little piece. Mm. Mm -hmm. They're very good, though. So we're kind of chilling in like the community area where... This is Mom Jan, has room up there. And then this is like the eating, best Wi-Fi over here. Yes, there's Wi-Fi, I know. And then, kind of. Kind of, it's not working very well right now. And then there's like a, a community kitchen. So, got like pizza oven, which I've never seen in a hostel setup really. A tiny, tiny fridge, doesn't fit a whole lot. And then just like community dishes and things. And you leave your food here or put it in the fridge and it's kind of how it works so I'm gonna wash my spoon because I used it and I kind of feel like snacking some more also if you've traveled in anywhere like Central America or South America this this is your form of dish soap it comes in like a big tub and it's like hard soap so no dawn no liquid detergent it's a little chalky but it works great Go ahead. Dinner time. We're working with minimal ingredients, but our German friend who was our neighbor left and said that we could have the food that she left. So she left some coffee and some tortillas, like little tiny ones and three eggs. And we have an avocado from earlier. So I think we're just gonna have like a mini, like brekkie style taco in this dope kitchen. I'm in love with this kitchen. I love my kitchen and the bus too, but this one's pretty good. Oil, which I believe is this. Nope. Nope, it's definitely not oil. Thank you, Mika, for your leftovers. We appreciate you. Because I don't know if we were feeling going back into town or not. It's not like a long journey, but it's just so comfortable. I would never leave here if I had the choice. This is like Kenzie's little paradise, so she's very happy here. I'm feeling so much better today, which is awesome. Um, first day was rough, second day uh, still a little rough, but better today, like 100%, which is awesome. So I'm getting to really enjoy it. And I have this beautiful woman making me some eggs. Huevos in mi cocina. Not a lot of flavor, but I'm hungry. Hmm. So, we're gonna go to bed. We're actually out of here tomorrow and I'm a little sad because this is like so beautiful. Yeah, but we're heading to Baños, which is like the adventure capital of Ecuador. 
Um, we yeah. were going to go on the river tour, but the German girl here was just like, yeah, just, she was like, don't, don't waste your money. It's a total ripoff. And unfortunately, like, you know, from the fact that A, COVID's wrecked a lot of tourism, and a lot of this is what they live on is tourism. So mm. everybody here is just really trying to make, make some money. And, make um, a buck. It is, it is absolutely beautiful. The vegetation is amazing. Um, these two are amazing. They're wrestling. <laughs> but yeah, we, it's, uh, the, the sad part is like anywhere where you see, um, you know, that disparity, you're going to run into kind of that, that piece of like a culture trying to sell what, what makes them a profit. Mm -hmm. So. So we didn't do the river tour. We didn't do the river tour. But did support some local Quechua women and then bought little. Yeah, we bought some of the Quechua women's like little, little bracelets little and bracelets stuff. bracelets and stuff. You, I know I can make this at home, but it, you know, you guys support the places you go when you're local, so. Exactly, so we're happy to support, um, you know, the people here. And we went to go get some really good foods and things like that. They don't really have a lot of options. It's really just pollo de, pollo de papas. But here it's pollo de beans, right? Pollo a la plancha. Pollo a la plancha. Pollo seca is another way to say it. But so. It's just basic almuerzo. But it was three dollars for a giant yeah, plate of chicken cheap. rice and veggie. And, and it was well cooked and delicious. The soup was super tasty. Mm -hmm. I think she's exhausted from following us in town. Yeah, she made it back though. She's so tired. Look at her. Oh, Ada. Ada also just sleeps like uh, right outside of our door, so. She's super cute, but we're gonna go to bed and we will see you guys in the morning. We're gonna go to Banos. Last night, I think I caught whatever Chase had when we were first here. Cause like from two until like five o'clock this morning, I thought I was fucking dying. I had the worst, like fever, so cold. Granted, like mind you, it's pretty much a constant 75 degrees and humid, even in like the dead of the night. And uh, I had on shorts, my sweatpants, a t-shirt, Chase's hoodie, and I was wrapped up in my sheet. And I was still freezing, but I managed to break my fever and go back to bed. So feeling a little exhausted, but I'm happy I don't feel like I did last night. I'm glad she's okay. Lord. It's not fun. I already went through it and it sucked. So it is nice that she's feeling better. I'm feeling better and we're uh, heading out of the jungle although we we literally like love this area it's so I just I know I've said it a thousand times but it's so beautiful and it's it is gorgeous. very much like right in line with what we one day want is a property like this for me maybe a little north or south of the equator just a little less humidity because the Amazon is as humid as you could get yeah. um, but I definitely I'm very weak right um, now I'll hold this. I am definitely uh, very excited for the next spot because we're going to be able to get all of our wet clothes washed because nothing dries here, so mm -mm. everything feels wet. Um, but yeah, in Banos, we're going to go and we can kind of choose from there. Do we want to do like the swing, or what is it, the swing across the world or Casa something? Casa de Arabol. Yeah. Treehouse. It has the swing over the world. It's like basically just a big ass swing over a huge cliff, so... Yeah, we'll see. She's she's not a big heights person. No. I could take it or leave it. It does look like a beautiful picture, but um, you know, the biggest thing is I just want to go explore the the place that we're going next, and and then we're getting rid of the car, so I won't have to drive like a nine hour trip over the Andes, which is nice. We'll be able to either fly or have someone else drive us. Um, plus, like the cars had a service engine lights since we basically picked it up and that's a little worrisome when you're driving very very treacherous roads um also like the insurance is non-responsive so like if we were to break down the whole insurance of like no matter where you break down we'll come bring you a new car is like total bullshit so they lied they lied completely and um if we did break down we'd just be stuck in the middle of nowhere so we're gonna go get rid of the car Hopefully my mom can get her refund back because they kind of pulled a fast one to try and make more money, which if you've been in foreign countries for the most part, 
the rental car agencies are named the same thing as they are in America, but they're not. They just pay to have that name. But like Avis in America doesn't represent anything to do with Avis in Ecuador. Here. Oh, I'm not going to give you anything. Oh, I'm not going to give you anything. The locals are a little wild. He just tried to grab the camera. Yeah, he was going to snag that camera. You got to be <laughs> careful. They're, they're little thieves. Yeah, no, I don't trust you. You're super sus, bro.